All right, so this is the um, first of many videos. Going to be playing through Spyro the Dragon. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. It's six. Or is it 14,000? What about 14, this nasty Gnort character? Now, I understand Maybe, he's found is, a right? magic yeah. spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is a Yeah, that's right. That does it. Yeah, that's a negative thing. If you have that like nuke of like a friggin... Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he had that nuke of a, like, freaking mace, why didn't he just use it at first? Jesus Christ. Come on. The ten-year-olds that first played this game need to know. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Newark? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay. So there's a lot of dragons to talk to, of course. Um, and maybe, like, people who are watching this who watch, like, me play Medieval or something, probably... I would think you would be thinking that, like, this is a really big switch. Like, why? Like, I'm kind of replaying a lot of the games I played as a kid. Like, I played Medieval, like, first... A lot and then I played Spyro me and my sister played it a lot so I mean I'm just kind of like just replaying these games PlayStation 3 you know PlayStation Network pretty freaking awesome totally totally that's actually the entire reason I got my PlayStation is because like every game is like six bucks and you get to buy a bunch of them yeah that's why I'm playing it um, yeah. As you can tell from the intro, I've played way too much of this game already. To where I've memorized pretty much most of it. It's a very lonely child. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to, uh, swear in this one. I know it, it's kind of stupid. Just, like, I figure, like, whatever the game's rated, I mean, I shouldn't be, like, swearing or anything of, of that sort. Okay. But this one should just be over pretty quickly. Yeah. It's a pretty short game. I believe I beat it in like five hours before. Don't quote me on that because I might be completely wrong. But yeah. Okay, cool. I think there's, what, 100 gems in the... Oh, no! <laughs> what have I done? Oh, it's Spyro's got some balance problems. Yeah, 100 gems and... Of course, all the dragons. Yeah, there's like, yeah. Most worlds won't have 100 gems, but... I feel like if people are watching this, they've played Spyro before. It only came out, like, what, 500 years ago? I've had plenty enough time to actually get it. It might have actually... Not 500 years. I know, yeah, not 500, but, um... What is it, like, 1990-something? I don't know. I also know now that I uh, I memorized the game, but obviously I suck at it because I can't even balance Spyro to do one thing that I want him to do. Okay, and then these ones. I believe the only ones I'm missing now are next to the um, dragon head and the. Um, hey Spyro, uh, press oh. the jump button twice to glide and. And don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Yeah, I won't be afraid of that. Yeah. All the dragons in the early game are so cool, and then you get the, like, once you get mid to, like, end game, all you get is, like, thank you for releasing me. Now go die. And I'm like, thank you for that. Um, uh, you know, it would have been cool, like, if they even, like, had anything to say, but they don't. They're just lame. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. 
You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. And Keep soon an he'll get a voice you. actor that's I terrible. Mean. Really will. It's terrifying. And then Hunter will become like a bro slash assassin slash I don't even know. It's terrifying. This is what the future holds for Spyro. And then you'll just become action figures and it'll be terrible. No offense, but uh... No offense to people who play Skylanders, just uh... <laughs> just uh, I don't really... Not really into that kind of version of Spyro. And it's obviously not geared towards me, but um... Yeah. The memories of Spyro are tainted. Cool, Flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Oh, you what a lame guy. But yeah, we've got to complete um, one of the artisan lands. And you know what? I think we'll do my favorite level, which will be this one. Let's do it. Dark Hollow is like the best. Seriously, it is the best. Just because I'm a very depressing person. I'm like, oh yeah, the dark levels, like what, medieval? Yeah, it's great, great game, great game, you know. Um, let's go to the darkest level in Spyro. Yes, yeah, very happy place. As I drunkenly avoid the enemy. Yeah. I swear, I like some happy things, like, I can't think of anything right now, but I swear I like some happy things. Okay, jump on this dragon here. Rescued Albon. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying- Spyro's father. Of course they Not really, but, me, but can you imagine? Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. You know what? Once Spyro frees these dragons, you would think they would help him. Like, you would think they would do something besides, like, go back to the artisan lands and just be like, yeah, um. What is Spyro? Like, a kid? Yeah, let's. Uh, good luck for him, man. That's definitely something we don't want to mess with. Yeah. I thought about how I'm going to do this with uh, recording, though. I mean. <laughs> Originally, I was like, I'm just going to do a video for every level, and I don't know if you realize how many levels there are and how short they are, but every freaking video would literally be two minutes long, and I'd be like, well, goodbye, and then it would just, it would just be spamming videos, that's all it would be, which would suck. I got Oswald slash Oswin. Want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret safe with Oh my god, seriously? It's a secret. You have a secret hideout. This is like the cave in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Look at that high res textures. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh shoot. Cool. Let's do it. Let's grab that key. Like a boss. Oh my god. It's more gems. I think this one even has 100 too. Of course, yeah, every single level has like no gems. At least until we reach, um... Uh, I think like Peacekeepers slash Magic Crafters will have like a bunch of gems. Yeah. Man. I feel like I'm gonna be terrible at this game. I really am. Wow, I am so freaking bad. Oh my god. Oh. Fun fact, you can light these up. Come, join me around the ca Oh, you are a jerk. Don't wield your club at me. I was going to invite you to, like, the campfire, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. The only... I don't think... Yeah, oh yeah, you can use these to roll. But, um... Fun fact about this Spyro. This is the only Spyro out of the PlayStation 1 versions where you can't use the uh, bumpers 
to uh, zoom in on gems, I believe. So like normally you'd be able to hit the bumpers and it would just tell you where gems are that you're missing. But they only did that in the second one. And then the third one, I believe it's like a... Uh, it's something you've got to earn after beating one of the Sparks levels or something like that. Super fun, and it's kind of a cheap thing to do, but it saved me a lot of times when I like get missing that Q gem piece of crap that's hidden behind a water fountain in a specific Spyro, namely this one. Yeah. Seriously ridiculous. Like this situation, like... I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the chest, obviously. I haven't gotten it yet. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. I love how I always get that guy right after I kill everything. So, I mean, his, his tip means nothing to me. It means nothing. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Let's get the uh, chest and let's bounce. Sweet. Oh, that was magic. I just went through that. That was so hot. Cool. So yeah, that should be it for this um, level. And I'm thinking that should be it for the video. I mean, I don't want to make like a 50 minute video. That's good enough. All right. Well, um thank you for watching i might do one level per video later on when the levels are like more than two minutes but yeah all right all right have a nice day everyone